Rob. Did you know? Did you know? Rock money now. YouTube. I'm back in the stock room. I'm back with another review. I'm going to bring to you today. It's going to be my first cop of 2024. It took me all of what, 20 days, not even to cop a shoe. So <laughs> I'm, I'm not even out of January and I'm already copping. So first, first cop of the year, uh, we're going to get right into it because I'm sure you already seen the shoe and you already seen reviews, but I wanted to bring you kind of my take on the shoe and how I felt about it in my, you know, humble opinion. So without further ado, let's get into the review. Okay, before we jump right into the review, I want to kind of give you some background on this shoe. So let's start off with the name of the shoe. So it's the Air Jordan 1 Low OG Chinese New Year. Start the year of the dragon in style. The elegant Air Jordan 1 has scaly oil overlays inspired by the Chinese Zodiac's only mythological creature. Details like the metallic gold tongue label and satin collar lining bring a hint of shine to the celebration. And don't forget to open your red envelope. A Jumpman charm is included with every pair for good luck. So that's a little brief description and history, um, you know, of the shoe. So it's the year of the dragon uh, for the Chinese New Year. So that's what this shoe is kind of inspired by. So let's start off with the box. So if you see, you got your oil green Nike box, which is white Nike uh, and oil green hits. And if you look closely, you know, it kind of looks like scales, uh, like dragon scales on the box. And if we look at the label, it reads... Air Jordan 1 Retro, low OG, CNY, which is Chinese New Year. So you got, I believe it says Sail, Cedar, Oil Green. Bottom of the box, you got your Nike Hits, of course, Nike branding. And uh, in all my Jordan 1 lows, I always size down to a size 10. I'm a true uh, 10 in, size 10 and a half in men, so anything low top in Jordans or Jordan 1s, I always size down to a 10. So. Let's get right into it. Open the box lid. You got a stamp right there. Oh, sorry. You do got a stamp right there. Got your Nike swoosh there. Now, other side, you got swoosh written at the top. The shoes do come with uh, some shoe paper that has uh, what it looks like is a dragon on the outside. And it looks like somebody's riding a dragon as well. You get an extra set of regular paper on the inside. Inside of the box is blank, but you do got your green sticker there. That's enough of the box. All right, so let's start off with this red envelope. So on the outside, you got your, your Jumpman in red. The whole envelope is red with your gold hits. I think it's dope. Nice design there. On the other side, you have, again, I believe that's a, a dragon and it looks like uh, some type of uh, bird. Doesn't look like an eagle, but some type of bird with uh, a Jordan Jumpman there in the middle. So I think uh, what I read is this is supposed to be, you know, like, like the yin and the yang almost. Uh, kind of giving off the same symbolism as that, basically. Can't have one without the other. So let's open this up. So we got the side, we got some jewels. So we got a little jump man in silver and you got some little bells on the bottom. They're saying this is for good luck. So it's pretty cool. You know, anytime, like I always say, anytime they give us extra, you know, things with the shoes, you know, we appreciate it. And here you have it, Jordan 1 Low OG. Chinese New Year's. What do you think? Not bad at all. All right, so let's start with the outsole. So you got your clear outsole and that translucent clear. It's not quite 100% clear. It's not icy blue. It's like somewhere in the middle. Uh, it's like foggy. So it should help with the aging process and the yellowing. Midsole, you have a, a sail midsole. Going around the shoe, as we move to the upper, 
in the in the oil green you have this scaly type of leather and i will say this leather is uh it's not plush plush but it, it's soft it's soft enough uh, and it has texture to it as we move to the mid panel um the white leather is just is it's mid it it's not soft it's not you know good quality it's just stiff white leather uh but when we move up to the swoosh it's kind of like a, it's not satin, but it has like that, almost that satin feel, but it's a little bit um, tougher than satin. And that's in that burgundy, that burgundy red, shiny burgundy red. So move to the heel of the shoe. You have your Jumpman Wings logo stitched, which I wish they, uh, I guess they had to do it like this because the back tab is gold. So they wanted that to kind of pop through um, the red stitch Air Jordan Wings logo, but I kind of wish they did it like they do to Travis Scott's and some of the other uh, Jordan 1 low OGs where, you know, it's like a it's stitch, but it's like a patch almost, but this is cool. Uh, it makes sense for the shoe. Silky gray sock liner. If you look at the inside of the shoe, you got that same symbol we had on the card, uh, that gold um, circle with the red jump man in the middle. Got your size and set tag, size 10 in there. As we move to the tongue of the shoe, you got your Nike Air in that red and gold hit. I do like that they put that green, same gray that they put, put around the sock liner, they put around the, the tongue of the shoe. So I thought that was pretty cool. It looks pretty dope. They gave you the burgundy laces. The shoe doesn't come with extra laces. Well, uh, maybe white laces might make this pop a little bit more with some white lace. Maybe it could, but I like this lace as well. So either or would do. Um, and as we move to the toe box of the shoe, you know, we got that white toe box. Again, it's that same, uh, you know, stiff leather with the oil green textured leather going around, which is softer than the white leather. So let's see. And that's pretty much it. And that's. So we get, of course we get shoe paper, not shoe trees on the inside of the shoe. And there you have it. Oh, I didn't notice this though. It's a nice little touch. They have a jump man on the inside of the, the lit tongue label um, with a dragon going around it. That's pretty dope. They should have made some merch with this uh, kind of design on it. They made a shirt, some hoodies. That would have been fire to go with this shoe. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's see if the other shoe has something different on the back. Nope, same, same logo on the inside as well. And the other shoe, and the left shoe. And let's hop back in front of the camera and end the review off. So my thoughts on the shoe, um, I think it's a solid cop. I think it's a solid shoe. I don't, I'm not too particularly fond of the green that's on this shoe. Uh, that oil green it's kind of hard to match up with everything i mean the burgundy and the gold hits are kind of dope but that green you know i'm not i don't even mind the the texture that's on the shoe the actual dragon scales whatever it's supposed to be even a gray sock liner is pretty cool in my opinion but i'm not a fan of that green that oil green so if it was you know olive green um pine green any other type of green other than this uh, bland oil green, I probably would have been able to, you know, you know, put it fit together and rock this shoe. I might have to pass on this one. So, you know, sorry, there won't be any on foot because I don't think I'm gonna keep this shoe, but if you like it, I love it. So they were pretty limited. I believe they did sell out. So if you want this shoe, you probably had to go on the secondary market or wait for a restock. I'm not sure if they will restock, but uh, the secondary market, they're going for a little over $200 in certain sizes. This size 10 is going for about between 205 and 220 so um you know good luck there and make sure you do your due diligence hopefully this video will help you out if you're going to be um, copping off the secondary market we're going to be copping a lot of shoes this year definitely number one to bring you the reviews number two i never judge a shoe until i see them in hand my goal is i'm on a road to a thousand subscribers that's my goal uh, for the year and hopefully we get more but for right now and that's the goal so if you're new to the channel it's your first time watching i appreciate you for stopping by you know go ahead and hit that subscribe button share 
the channel and the videos uh, like and subscribe and comment uh, if you're OG to the channel I appreciate you for you know still locking in with me until the next drop I'm out Dying one. Dying one. Rock. Did you know? Did you know? Rock money knows. I know, I know.